What's up, everyone? So if you haven't seen the patch, or if you have, I'm gonna do a reading of it, give you my thoughts, and uh, yeah, let's see. As early as level five, I was able to master most of the water types, and other Pokemon were unable to catch up with the damage and recovery of the multi-hit the surefire. So I made downward adjustments to the strength and attack and water Urenda did. This is Water Bear. His boosted auto is gonna do less damage and his surging strikes cooldown is longer, right? That's what Watermelon is, I think. Good nerfs, um, not surprised. Character is still really popular in the Japanese tournaments. It still takes over the game. Might be solid. Inteleon, finally. So Inteleon is getting a special attack nerf. So special attack nerf means all its damage sources basically are getting nerfed. Every part of this character is, every, all its damage is nerfed. On top of that, his water gun in the early game, I believe that's what Aqua Break is, 20% damage reduction. So when we saw Espeon Psyshock get a 20% damage reduction, it went from the de facto strong bot laner to something a little bit more situational. Um, so we'll see how Water Gun handles that. And then Liquidation getting another 15% damage reduction. Or is it the other way around? Liquidation is getting 20% and Water Gun's getting 15%. Either way, both of those moves probably need to be nerfed. I know Liquidation's definitely getting nerfed, which is good. Or is that... Did Water Gun get untouched and is that Liquidation and Snipe? Water Gun's a 15%? Okay, got it. So Water Gun 15%, Liquidation 20%, even better. We love to see that. Dragapult getting some buffs, finally. This character definitely needed it. So it is getting um, some buffs on its base stats. Very little. There's not much attack buff. I think for most of the game, it's like very small, but it matters, I guess. Uh, Ghost Dive. This is not... This might sound like Dragon Dance because you dive in, but this is actually Phantom Force, um, the move that makes you invisible. The cooldown got lowered, which is huge, right? Two seconds when you can already reduce this is pretty big. You get more, um, you can stack the permanent attack on the skill more, and each stack gives you even more. So you can get up to 100 attack from this from this move now if you get 10 KOs. So it's really snowball-y. Um, you also get more attack speed and more move speed increase while you're in this move. So I don't know, this move seems really strong now. I think if you can get this stacked up, this character actually will feel legit. And then Shadow Ball got a damage increase. Um, and apparently, I didn't even know that Shadow Ball did this on Dragapult, but um, there's some healing that got buffed on it as well, which is cool. And the Unite move got a two second buff as well from 12 seconds to 10 seconds on the recharge time. This is really good. This is quite strong, I would say. Like, I don't know if Dragapult's gonna be OP now, but it'll definitely be playable character. All of the buffs are gonna be meaningful. I think this move is gonna be really fun now. We'll see. Mimikyu, although he thought he was having fun and playing, he often ended up overdoing it. Oh, would, would you would you look at that? So Play Rough got a two second, two and a half second nerf. This is huge, we needed this. Like Mimikyu is going infinite, basically. Mimikyu is actually going infinite, basically. I don't know what... Ka Ka Kageuchi. What is this? What is this? It's a passive? Okay, so your passive, when it breaks, it instead of making you immune for 0.5 seconds, now it'll be for 0.25 seconds. That's quite good, I guess. Balanced character now? We'll have to see. It's still an iframe on um, player off, right? Damage is unchanged. So basically, like, the initial engage, once you shadow sneak on top of someone and play rough and then ult them, all of that interaction is st still all the same, right? So, I don't know if it's... It, it's after that where it's going to be vulnerable for a little bit longer, where it actually got nerfed. But the initial time it goes on you is still the same. Alright, Gek Uga. Upperly adjusted. Water Shuriken um, slows more, gives you more movement speed, and double team is lower cooldown. Good changes. Um, I think this character will be interesting to play. Mew Solar Beam damage reduction probably was needed after they buffed the cooldown. Surprised that they actually buff, uh, nerfed Mew, but nerfed Solar Beam, nerfed ult damage, these are both really good changes, so good for them. Avail or A9 
You're gonna get more healing in Avail and more damage reduction now for your team. Might be worth checking out, we'll see. Hoopa nerf, um, Phantom Force two seconds longer cooldown, um, hold two second increase and movement speed, um, movement speed nerf basically off your hole. Good changes for Hoopa. I, I wanna see them make a change to the ult, but I think this is fine too. I'll, I'm still gonna play it, the character's still gonna be really good, it's not a, it's not a big deal. Good, good upward changes. Serena's drop kick went from 8.5 to 7 seconds and more defenses. I think I think Serena might be worth checking out. Who is this? Who's ooh? Guys, who's ooh? Is this uh Cramorant? Bofu is usually Cramorant, right? So Cram finally has a special attack um spell vamp now. That's good. And who's Varyard? Well, this is Mime? Confusion, right? Went from 6 to 5 seconds. Cool. And a special attack base set went up. Not bad. 